Alright YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you my game that I made. I finally got back into programming after a while. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I've never had anything to make a video on recently. But I finally do. I made a game using C++ and Allegro. Uh, here's my game. It's called Slurping Cherries. Let me open it up for you. As I said, it was made with Allegro. Here is the folder for it. Here's the project file. I'll go ahead and open that. In the folder here, this right here is a um, zip of it. That's so I put it online so other people can download it and play it. Um, here's the code for it. It's pretty long. It doesn't have to be that long. I just how I program. I know it's a little confusing. It's not that pretty. But I'm not super advanced and as I said this is my first program I ever made with Allegro so it's it's that. Um, now let me open the game for you and show you the game. Wow that was done. Let me open the game. Here we go. Okay when you open the game or if you download it uh, just click the exe file to open as I just did and the first thing that pops up is this white box thing and this other black box um, the black box is just something I made that displays the directions for the game some tips how, like basically how the game works stuff you should probably know before going to the game some cheats and some credits in there also and Lucica Mage is the one who made that tutorial. I don't know if I mentioned that already. And thanks to her because this tutorial, that tutorial is what inspired me to make the game. Alright, so after you basically see that dialog box, you can just put it down. Don't close it because that closes the game. Alright, full screen or not full screen. Well, full screen or window basically. That's what it asked first. I'm just going to say no for sake of time well since I'm using cam studio it's probably gonna slow it down I'm gonna use the first cheat G which is a thousand coins and that makes it so I can show you the shop and one thing I was proud of is the choose character screen I made this allows you to choose three between three different characters um I put a, I also put a player two mode in here in the game and the arrow is that second player so if you're planning on using two player players I advise against choosing the arrow for the first player well I'm going to hit A and choose Bob because he is the first spread I ever made and I'm rather proud of him here you can hear the background music I'll turn it up for you Ding basically a little up and down thing I made and parts of Eye of the Tiger I know quite odd but whatever I don't even like music that much I know it's very important in games but it's one of my least favorite things to do along with spreading because spreading is difficult right, on the top left you see press tab to visit the shop under that is your current points that's what you use to buy things at the shop. Uh, next to that you have your current speed and the cherry number, like the number of cherries you have. Next to that is your score and your level. I'm going to show you the shop now. Alright, at the shop you can buy, like increase your speed, you can buy more cherries, you can change the music. Music number two is actually pretty stupid. I advise against buying that. You can buy a cherry box, which allows, which you can buy if you have three cherries, and you can buy another map. And there's other, also two other maps, but you have to use cheats to use those. And the two-player mode, or just seven, actually the shop. Here is the shop music, in case you're wondering. All right, I'm going to buy a speed increase, and you see my current speed increases and so does my actual player speed and I'm just buying more I'm actually going to buy up to the max 
which is six. And if you try and buy it, it requirements not met. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, another cherry. I bought another cherry. And one more cherry. Now I have three cherries. And if I try and buy another cherry, it will not let me. If you have three cherries, you have to buy a cherry box, which is four. Now everything combines into one box. I also can buy more cherries, as seen here. Alright, now I'm going to show you the two player mode. This is probably one of the things I'm most proud of in the game. Once you, when you buy the second player, as I said, it's always the arrow key. And he moves just as fast as player one, to keep it fair. Basically you're working together, but I put a player one score and a player two score counter at the bottom. Because everyone likes to compete. And when I was playing with my sister, she was kind of mad that they, we didn't have separate scores. So I had to change that. So now we do. Uh, player 1, I guess I forgot to say earlier, you use the arrow keys to move. And player 2, W-A-S-D. Alright, now I am going to... Close out of this, I guess. Let me check the shop. Yeah, nothing to show you. So I'm gonna close out of this game. To close out of it, all you really have to do is just hit the escape key. Alright, now I'm going to. I guess I can show you one of the other maps. Alright, this time I'll full screen it, but since I'm using Cam Studio, it a bit. Alright, I'm gonna use R, the second one. And I guess I'll choose Tom this time. He's the middle guy. Alright, uh, the background is Kakashi. Uh, I love Naruto, and Kakashi is probably my favorite character. So, that's the one I'm gonna use. Alright, uh, let me close out of this. Just a Alright, well, I guess I should show you, um, first, well, a few things. Well, just two. I'm going to show you Moose Saders. Who, uh, Musader, aka Rachel Morris, aka Lucica Mage, who made the tutorial on the game. This is her website. Um, this is a new version. She, like, just made this. Here is her YouTube page. Um, and this is the tutorial I use beginning game, Beginner's Guide to Game Programming. This is what I use to make my game. I watched all these videos. She has the Lego version and the STL version, as I said earlier. So I just watch those. And I learn how to make it. And over here is, um, this is her website, as I said. Here is the forums. Um, the forums are a great place to be. Like, if you're a programmer, I would definitely recommend joining this forum. Uh, Rachel is very active in it. She helps along with many other programmers, such as WSP Sniper. He is a very nice person on the forum. He's helped me out a lot recently. And um, here under Game Showcases, you can find my game, Slurp and Chairs. And this is one of the places where you could place where you can download it. The link will also be in the description. Well, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. I just wanted to give a little shout out to Musica Mage for all the help she provided in my game. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry about the weird fuzzy background noise the whole time. Some of it was my CPU fan. And every time I record with Cam Studio, it makes that noise. Sorry. I don't know how to fix it. I guess if you do, just let me know. Thank you again for watching. Thanks again to Lucid the Mage. Uh, I don't care if you subscribe. I'm not really after subscribers, but please comment. Let me know what you think about the game. I'd also really appreciate it if you played. 
uh, even join the forums and you can comment there uh, thanks again for everything I'm very proud of this game and I recommend everyone watching to try making a game such as this